Hey everyone. So in this video, I'll be explaining how a spray bottle works. Now a spray bottle has many different parts depending upon the design, but there are some parts which are basic to every design. Now I have those parts displayed out here. First of all, we have the piston, which we can say is the most important part of the spray bottle. Then we have the housing cylinder, which houses the piston. Then we have a helical spring with some stiffness constant K and then we finally have a trigger which sort of acts like a lever and we also have some nozzles and a nozzle cap and this right here is a suction pipe which sucks water from the reservoir. There are also some one-way valves which are very important and we'll discuss what is their use in a while. Uh, but we cannot see them right here they're very tiny and one of them is actually inside this piston right here so now we'll quickly assemble all these parts and then we'll try to understand how the spray bottle works the piston right here along with the spring goes inside the cylinder Now the function of this piston is to reciprocate inside the cylinder. So due to this reciprocation motion, the volume inside the cylinder changes. Due to the change in the volume, the pressure also changes and this change in pressure is very vital for the suction of water and its discharge. Now I'll try to show you guys the reciprocation motion of the piston uh, but forgive me if I fail because the spring is quite stiff anyway I'll give it a try as you can see here as this piston moves upward the volume between the top portion of the piston and the cylinder this portion exactly it decreases due to the decrease in volume the pressure increases similarly when the piston moves down the volume increases thereby decreasing the pressure So this change of pressure, you know, creation of high pressure, low pressure is quite important and we'll discuss that in a while. Now moving on further, we'll attach the nozzle to the housing cylinder. The function of this nozzle is to convert the potential energy of water into kinetic energy. There is a scientific principle behind this phenomena called the equation of continuity which is rather simple. It says, that, it says that as the area decreases, the velocity increases. This nozzle utilizes the equation of continuity. Now finally I'll attach a suction pipe to the piston. There you go. Now we have all the components assembled and we are ready to demonstrate how the spring works. There you go guys. Now we have all the components ready and we can show how all of them work in tandem to defy gravity thereby sucking the water from the reservoir and then pushing it out in the form of spring. So now I'll start priming the pipe. That is to say, remove the air that is initially trapped inside the pipe. There you go guys, now we have the spray working. So now I'll zoom in a little bit and you can see clearly how the piston reciprocates and pushes the water out.
so thank you for watching this video guys and if you enjoyed this video do hit the like button ciao